A popular PlayStation video game is coming to life in a new animated movie. That's right. Jim Ferguson spoke to one of the stars who lent their voice to the movie, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, we're talking about James Arnold Taylor, who voices everything. Remember Fred Flintstone, Wile E. Coyote, all the aliens in the Star Wars, The Force Awakens. This guy has done every voice you can conceive of. He's a voice actor, and he's a very good one. Uh, should we talk about the movie now or after James's interview? Let's give James uh, a chance the floor to, first. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's go to James Arnold Taylor. Did you ever think when you were doing the voice of Ratchet for the PlayStation video games that, yeah. boy, this would make a good feature film? You know, we always thought it would be great, either as like a show or a movie or some something. And uh, when they came to us, folks at Blockade and said, we're going to make a movie, we thought, this is just perfect, because they really play like a movie when you play the game. So yeah, it's great. They, they really do. Agree that this character, Ratchet, that you voice, mm -hmm. and Clank, yeah. uh, are totally unlikely heroes. Yeah, they really are. You know, I think that Ratchet is, the beauty of it is he's kind of an everyman, you know, and uh, he just wants to do the right thing. He wants to save the day. He's a bit of the underdog, and then he actually has the abilities from being that underdog to save the day, and he's just given those opportunities, which I think is uh, so many of us. If given that opportunity, we'd show that we can shine. You know, I, I just, I'd like to describe him as a little guy with a big heart. Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, it is. It's, it's like, uh, it, it might be a cliche, but it's, it's really true in this. I think it is because uh, he just wants to do the right thing and he happens to to save the universe in the, in the process. He sure does. <laughs> yeah. The I, Does it amaze you this the animation when you look at it? With Boy, the I've weapons got, yeah. and the uh, you know the battle scenes I got to tell you when I saw it it it's just fantastic and now they have a game based on the movie that is based on the game and they both just look the lines are blurred you can't tell the difference it's so amazing the depth the texture the shadowing uh, I don't know how they do it but I'm glad that they do because it just it's immersive when you watch mm -hmm. it as a voice actor, you, you had to be pleased with your fellow cast. Uh, yes. What talent in this movie. Voice so many talent. great, yeah. And, you know, David Kay doing the voice of Clank, doing a wonderful job. And Jim Ward, who's a wonderfully talented voice actor. It's a great melding of voice actors. John Goodman. And then and then celebrities. Yeah, John Goodman playing Grimm, doing a, a wonderful job. as kind of a father figure to my uh, ratchet. And then you've got Paul Giamatti, Sylvester Stallone, Bella Thorne, Rosario Dawson, I think, really steals the show. Really does. Uh, just yeah. a great job. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Fun is a PlayStation video game, but personally, I don't think it works as a big as a big feature film. Oh, really? Now he mentioned the other voice talents, huge. Yeah, big names. Big names in it, uh, but it it's just you know it's outer space explosions, gadgets, uh, humor. Does that sound like an animated Star Wars? Oh, doesn't oh, it? But we, yeah. people yeah. like Star Wars, well, look so at, it's true. you know. Uh, so if you, what's your rating for this film? I'd give it a, should I be honest? Yes. Uh, definitely, the people expect <laughs> honesty, Jim. It's kind of a D for dumb. Oh. And I mean that. No joke, I said a week or two ago, Jim, do you ever not like a film? Because you can always find something good, but this is the film that you're not giving uh, uh, yeah. a lot of love uh, to. Yeah, you know, everybody's looking at their watches, when is this going to end type uh, of thing, you know. It does work as a video game. Video game. They love it on video games, but as a feature film, oh, and that that's a ripoff of... Uh, uh, the Toy Story, some of these characters, oh, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, the good thing is, is we're moving on to a different film on Friday. Yes, we are. And we're two weeks away from Mother's Day. Yep. And we have the director, one, one of the great directors in Hollywood history, Gary Marshall, mm -hmm. who started with Pretty Women, you know. Well, <laughs> we have some of his original cast back in Mother's Day, which I'll be interviewing most of them coming up the next week. All right. Uh, and we have Gary Marshall, the director, on Friday. All right. Well, it's also a reminder to get your mom a gift. Thank you, Jim, so much <laughs> for you, reminding us. If you'd like to watch even more of Jim's celebrity interviews, you can visit our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and search for Hollywood Happenings.